We're into fuel efficiency of diesel truck engines. We're offering uh, manifolds and turbochargers and the ECM programming. We also make a wiring harness add-on. The main thing that Diesel Freak focuses on is trying to help make the owner-operator more profitable by burning less fuel. We got that old Western Star over there heading northbound after the Wildwood truck show there. Come back. We got missing Flory Broderson here and uh, run uh, Detroit 60 Series 515, uh, 13 speed, 342 gears. Ten four. Well, she looks pretty good going down the road. Uh, uh, what do you do with her? Uh, we uh, we're a dedicated lane on uh, up through Illinois and Ohio. We run the tanker pulling uh, the Downey fabric off our base. How long you been on the road for there? Uh, Ten years. Out of those ten years of running, though, is this the same truck that you have always run in? Yeah, we've been running this 10 years, but I've been driving for about 22, I guess, that, that was your question. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 10 years, not even 10 years old yet, and we got a million 150,000 on it already. 10-4, how's that been doing for you compared to uh, uh, Peter Booth or Kenworth and whatnot? That's a good deal. How often do you get to go to truck shows and uh, tell me about how you did at this show here at the 75 Chrome Shop Overdrive Proud and Polish? Uh, we took second place in our class, which isn't too shabby. Uh, usually the most truck shows I've done in a year is about seven. That's pretty wearing on a guy, but uh, for the most part we try to do two or three. That, that keeps the truck cleaned up enough to where we can uh, I have to work too hard on it, you know, during the, throughout the year. Well, Roger that. Uh, it certainly does look good. Tell me about some of the custom parts you got there, uh, starting from the front, going to the back there. I got a Valley Chrome wrapper on bumper. We uh, we got a Roadworks uh, grill, stainless grill. Uh, basically a set of authentic train horns and uh, Basically, a lot of roadworks customizing uh, the visor and the chops. That's all customized. And then, of course, we got a diamond plate, and then uh, we got a altar back and a, a railroad crossing bell on the frame rail. That's my backup bell. And then, of course, we got a the hard shield on there for a fifth wheel cover. And uh, truck lights, accessories, uh, lights are up at night, about 160 some lights. Wow, 160 something lights on the tractor alone? Yes, sir. Well, I'm sure she looks good going down the road, huh? Yeah, she lights up the nighttime sky, that's for sure. And we got a uh, oh, uh, blue 
lights for, uh, you know, indirect lighting as uh, kind of lights up the underglow and how the carriage and everything. Any plans for the truck in the future as far as uh, customizing goes? No, uh, no, she's pretty well uh, customized out. I'm gonna, we're gonna retire this one and look to get another uh, large start car in the future, but uh, yeah, this one's pretty well served a, a good career for me. Roger that. Sure does, it certainly does look good. As far as the inside goes, we, we painted the strain well and uh, painted the inlays of the dash, uh, birch white on a black dash, and uh, put some custom needler seats in there. And so we so we're comfortable as, as far as the ride goes. Well, Mitch, let me ask you, when it comes to any new guys wanting to get into the field of trucking, uh, what would you want to say to them as far as some tips and tricks and things that keep their eyes peeled to make them a better driver as they start out? Oh, that's a good question. My wife just started driving. It'll be two years in September she's been driving with me We're for uh, quality carriers, but uh, she's really cautious and you got to be aware of your surroundings and stopping distance and uh, just Make sure you give yourself enough room to, you know, maneuver a lot, a whole lot of truck. You know, these, they don't, they're not making these trucks any smaller, that's for sure. And it, it's just uh, hard to get around in these tight spots, so you just gotta get out and look to make sure everything's clear. And you're not running over anything or anybody. And uh, stopping distance is a big thing with my wife. You know, you gotta have enough room to stop a train. Those are some solid tips for uh, for any person to, to take in the mind. You, you don't want to get into a situation where you uh, you run out of stopping room and uh, you get chill, get yourself into a jam. Yeah, that can happen very easily. Uh, it can cause a chain reaction for a lot of people who like the tailgate. Ten four. I'm going to hop on the other side and get a look at you. Oh, four. If he peeks her uh, head up there by the window, we just might get a look at her. We already saw you up in there. Yeah, I'm not as pretty as she is. Tell her to give us a little thumbs up there out the window. looking good there. I'll come back center in front of you there. He's a little shy, but that's all right. That's a good thing. Keeps her, keeps her on it. Yes, sir. Hear that. Now, let me ask you this, Mitch, while I'm looking at you here. What made you go with a Western Star over everything else? Uh, you know, I apologize if I already asked this question, but uh, there's always that curious type that would want to know, uh, how's a Western Star ride versus anything else? out there, the Peets and Kenworth and the, the Freeliners, uh, and you got to pay for that name, and Western Star, you just pay for the quality, and a lot of it is a uh, hand-built, you know, that they, a hand-built way that they do 
things up there in uh, Portland, Oregon. We took a trip through the plant last October, and uh, they got a lot of hands-on. Yeah, well, there's a lot of cab space, and uh, you, you got a lot of room. You could put a sofa in this thing across from door to door. As far as a, a beat, you could just reach over and unlock the door. I'd have to stand up and walk over and unlock my door. Yeah, roger that. But they're, they're just as uh, a good a truck as any any truck out there, you know. It's, uh, you know, I haven't had a set of issues with the motor. You know, maybe a couple oil leaks here and there and changed out the clutch and, uh, but for the most part, that's it. It's a, it's a good, uh, good solid truck. And uh, it's a different look than what everybody else has out there. What you're doing is an awesome thing for the, the drivers that, you know, have to work hard to make this world turn and like to get the polish out and get together and uh, take pictures and give each other a hard time. But, uh, yeah, I thank you. My wife thanks you too. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I, I enjoyed meeting good folks like yourself that like to make their truck look good going down the road and and uh, come to these shows and uh, show it off there, right? And four. We do a good job of doing good. It's nice to have a few bragging rights here and there every once in a while. Oh, yeah, I hear you about that, right? Thanks again, Chris. Appreciate that. Ten four, man. We'll see you soon.